All right. Well, hey, Stephen, thank you for taking the time to talk to us about Amazon and all of the potentials here, especially as it relates to COVID-19. Um, yeah. so, so let's just start here. Uh, how can product-based businesses be leveraging themselves on Amazon during COVID-19? Yeah, no, that's an awesome question. Um, you know, I was right there uh, with a lot of people and, um, you know, my wife and I, we were wedding photographers. We were in the service-based business and I'm so glad we started selling on Amazon right now because we've had, I think, five weddings postponed or canceled. And if all our eggs were in that basket right now, we would really be scrambling. And so, um, and I know a lot of people are in that position, uh, but a few years back, we discovered this thing called selling on Amazon and you may have heard of it, um, but there's a lot of different ways to make money on Amazon. And now there's, but I, I would say there's never been a better time to start uh, going down the Amazon rabbit hole um, and learning to sell on Amazon, whether you're a product-based business, you already have products to sell, or even if you don't, because that's how I was. When we started looking into it, we had literally no product ideas. We were a service-based business doing photography, doing a photo booth, you know, in the wedding industry, I had no experience with e-commerce, but when I discovered the opportunity that is Amazon, it really just lit me up. So, um, yeah, I think right now is a really prime time to sell on Amazon. Amazon is going through some crazy stuff right now. Of course, like everyone, they're in it with us, but, uh, I feel like the economy is completely changing. I mean, imagine how many people have never ordered something online are now ordering something online for the first time. It's pretty wild. And when you look at the stats of, of Amazon, like one third of all Americans, almost one third of all Americans are prime subscribers. It's crazy. Um, so I think the last stat I saw was 90 billion prime subscribers. And that was wow. a couple years back. So um, this is the place where people are shopping online. Um, and so if you have something to sell, if you have a product already, you need to be on Amazon. If you don't have a product already, there's also hope for you too. You can create an alternative source of income through Amazon. And I can talk a little bit about those different methods uh, in our short time together. Yeah. So, so I know Amazon, I, I've heard, obviously everyone shops there and you can already find anything that you could ever possibly want to find on Amazon. So talk to me about that. Is it, is it oversaturated? Is it too competitive? What, what, what's going on there? Yeah, no, that's a great question. And there definitely are some products that are very saturated on Amazon, very competitive because there's a lot of money to be made there. I saw a chart that was like, it was like all the 15 largest internet retailers, or it was, I think 14, all the 14 largest internet retailers combined. Um, they put them on a graph next to Amazon and Amazon is outselling all 14 of them. So if like Apple and QVC and Best Buy and Office Depot and that, you know, if they all combined on a team, Amazon was just outselling all of them. And over all, like half, over 50% of all sales, like e-commerce sales, when someone buys something online, it's going through Amazon. So I always tell people like, if you're going to, you know, if you're going to build a dam on a river, like build it on the biggest river, right? So Amazon is that river. There's a lot of other places to sell online, like Etsy and eBay and things like that. But Amazon is really the king. And because of that, there's so much um, there's so many people searching for so many things on Amazon. So, uh, I always recommend if you're going to sell a product there, don't go after the, the really competitive stuff. There's things like cell phone cases and, you know, um, really common stuff you would think of that is really oversaturated and really competitive, but there's still a lot of money to be made in those really small niches. Mm -hmm. So especially if you sell a specific product to a specific audience, or you want to sell a specific product to a specific audience. Amazon is the place to go. And uh, I remember my aha moment when it came to Amazon. It was when I discovered a software. Um, it was actually a different software at the time, but now the software that does it is called Helium 10. And uh, I can give you a link to Helium 10 to put in the show notes for people to check out. But basically it's a software, it's a Chrome extension that allows you to go on Amazon and click a button and literally see how much money people are making selling those products. And I remember going on Amazon and just searching for the most random things, like the most random things you could think of. One of the products um, I found was called a chicken harness. Okay. So a chicken harness is, I guess people, maybe they walk their chickens or they, I don't know, I'm going to take them to the vet. They need a harness so they can pick them up easy. I don't know. 
but like really niche products, right? Like how many people do you think are searching for chicken harnesses every month? And this tool, when I clicked it, I was seeing that over 5,000 people per month were searching for chicken harnesses and that they were making thousands and thousands of dollars per month, all these sellers on the front page of Amazon. And I started doing that over and over with these really niche products. And just to see the amount of uh, money flowing through Amazon is, is wild. And so it really is the riches are in the niches, so to say. And so if you're a product shop that has a product that, you know, you think people are searching some very specific keywords to find, they could be on Amazon. Amazon's for you. Um, but if not, um, we actually, how we got into it was we make our product decisions, like what we want to sell on Amazon based on what we see people searching. Mm -hmm. There's actually a uh, software like Helium 10 that shows you exactly what people are searching. And if you see that people are searching for, you know, um, purple chicken harness, and you see there's 2000 people a month searching for that, then you can just uh, find a manufacturer for that product, launch it on Amazon, and you have 2000 potential customers seeing your product yeah. every single month. It's pretty wild. And uh, that's the journey I, we kind of went on. I kind of learned and failed for a little bit, but really, found a way to do it right and um and now i'm like an amazon evangelist i like tell everyone about amazon because it really is such a powerful thing especially in a season like this mm -hmm. when a lot of people are out of, out of work a lot of people you know are now trying to sell online like it's amazing to have that stream of revenue mm -hmm. and um right now is actually a really key time to be leaning into this because um how Amazon works. I just have to describe how Amazon works. I don't know with you, like when you, when you search for something on Amazon, do you typically just buy off, you know, like you search for something, you buy something right there on the first page, or do you go back like two or three pages before you buy something? It is. I'm it's like normally the first or second thing I see. Yeah. So yeah. Amazon is like real estate, right? So there's like prime real estate. Like if you search for um, like on my desk here, I have a timer cube. It's like a timer that looks like a cube. Mm -hmm. So say I search for timer cube, I'm going to buy usually off the first page. And this is what most people do. They don't go to page two, three, four, five. And how you get on the first page of Amazon for a search term like that is through, um, through the amount of sales uh, you're getting and, um, through people searching and finding your product with that keyword. And right now there's certain, um, categories on Amazon that are uh, that are down in search volume. Like uh, one of our students is launching a wedding product, right? She's launching this week, a wedding product. And no one's having weddings right now. Um, but for that reason, the sales are really down. So um, she can actually, she's just like basically giving this product away. She's like contacting all her friends or family. Hey, go buy this product, go buy this product. Like I'll just reimburse you. She's basically giving these things away um, so that uh, she can get on the front page for those keywords. Wow. And then when the wedding season starts picking back up and sales start picking back up, she's going to be on the front page for all those keywords. Wow. So now is an amazing time. If you do have a product that's a little bit more competitive, you can get it ranked on Amazon on one of those front pages before things do start to pick back up. That's awesome. So, so I actually have a friend who I've been trying to convince to get on Amazon. She's working on it. Um, she put her husband on doing the research and he came back and said, you know what, Annie, these prices, like, I don't think it's going to make sense for our margin. Um, what he found was, was the fees seemed really expensive from everything he was reading. Mm -hmm. Is that true? And if not, can you speak more to that? Yeah, no, that's, a, that's a great question. Something I do definitely hear a lot, especially if you're already a like a product shop owner and you're used to the margins you have, you know, it can look like expensive to sell on Amazon. There's a couple different ways to fulfill. Like if someone buys your product, you can ship it yourself. And that is the most affordable way to do it. You only, I think pay Amazon 15, I think it's 15% of whatever the price of the product is. Um, but the way that we do it is called FBA, which is fulfilled by Amazon. And that's where you actually take your product and you ship into the Amazon warehouses 100 units or 500 units or 1,000 units. Um, but the reason you do this is because it allows you to get that Prime badge, you know? And I don't know about you, but when I shop on Amazon, I want the Prime shipping. You know, I want it coming fast. And um, also it allows you to leverage the resources of, um, I don't know Amazon's numbers, a billion dollar company I'll say, you know, right? Like I'm guessing they're a billion dollar company. Um, if there's uh, like 
that many prime subscribers. Um, it allows you to leverage their resources, leverage their distribution network, leverage their uh, employees, the robots, maybe drones even someday. Like it allows you to leverage that for a fraction of the price and you do pay an FBA fee when you do that. Um, you know, the FBA fees can be four or five, six dollars. Uh, if your item's really big or the price is a lot higher, it can definitely get up there. Um, but if your product is small uh, and lightweight, that's, I, it's definitely, there's still some room to wiggle there. And uh, I would just like, I would encourage people who are feeling that way uh, get helium 10s x-ray tool it's a free chrome extension and just search your product on amazon like the category of your product like say it's a you know a timer cube right search it on amazon and click the x-ray tool and just look at the numbers that people are making on there and um sometimes you can sacrifice a little margin to make a lot more money <laughs> um and so i i how i see it is like you know if jeff bezos called me up and he's like hey I got a sweet deal for you. You want to partner with me in my business? All you gotta do is pay just a little bit. I'd be like, yeah, that's a no brainer. So um, for me, it's about the scale of Amazon. Yeah. And uh, you do sacrifice a little bit of margin there, but you're able to reach thousands and thousands more people right. by leveraging this online economy. That's amazing. So how would someone who has no clue where to get started, this is maybe even the first time they've even thought about selling on Amazon or known that they could, mm -hmm. where, where do they start? Where do they go to learn? Um, yeah. Yeah, no, that's, that's great. Um, I'll give you guys some actionable things. If you're like this Amazon things piquing your interest, you've heard about Amazon. You're like, Oh, I want to sell online, but I, I've never really taken the jump to go there. I'll give you guys some actionable things you can just like look into Google, go down, like start watching YouTube videos. Um, there's a lot of great information out there. Um, and there's a lot, of, there's a lot of different ways to sell on Amazon. There's like probably, there's probably hundreds of ways to make money on Amazon. So to say like partnering with them. Um, the easiest way is affiliate marketing, um, affiliate marketing. A lot of people do know about this, but you know, you can recommend Amazon products. So if you have a blog or an audience or a, you know, a newsletter or something. And, you know, you can make a post right now about um, essential uh, quarantine uh, products that you need to have, right? You can recommend products to other people and make a tiny uh, commission on sales. And the cool thing is if you sign up for, they call it their associates program, Amazon Associates. If you send someone a link and they end up not buying that product, but then they end up buying all their groceries on Amazon in the next 24 hours, you actually make an affiliate uh, commission for all those purchases as well. Um, so it's pretty powerful. If you do have like a list an audience an Instagram following, uh, that associates program is completely free. It just takes a little bit of your time to set up and you do make a very small percentage. It's not like, you know, unless you have a large audience, it could be very profitable, but that's a quick win. If you haven't signed up for that and you find yourself recommending Amazon products all the time, that's a, that's a really easy one. I know for us, as photographers, everyone's always like, what camera do I buy? What lens do I buy? So we signed up for that. And luckily those are more expensive items. So if people buy those things, you know, um, mm -hmm. making three to 5% of a thousand plus dollar purchase ends up being pretty good. So, um, Amazon associates, that's the first one. Uh, the second category, we're kind of going up in the amount of, I guess, money it takes to, to sell these types of things. Affiliates is totally free. just takes some of your time. Uh, the second tier I would call kind of like um, reselling or flipping. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is something, it's a really great thing to do right now. And it doesn't just have to be on Amazon, but the average American has $3,000 worth of just stuff around their house they could probably sell right now. Wow. Um, and so go through the garage, go through the, you know, the pantry, go through everything that like you don't need right now and sell it. I mean, why not create some cash flow by offering value to other people who are looking for stuff right now? Mm -hmm. um, people are online more than ever. Facebook marketplace is blowing up right now. Um, so look for stuff you can sell. Uh, used stuff, I'd recommend probably selling it on Facebook marketplace. But if you find new stuff, new in box stuff in your house, like, you know, oh, you, you bought a bunch of razor blades for that razor, but then the razor broke, so you got a new razor and you never use the razor blades. They're still new in the box that type of stuff, you can scan it with your phone and, and put it on Amazon and it'll sell very fast if you price it right. So um, selling stuff around the house is a really uh, fast way to 
just see the power of e-commerce mm -hmm. and reaching people online. And I feel like once you get that first sale, I, I teach people uh, how to do this in a challenge. We have a seven day challenge and we give them a challenge to do this over a weekend and we'll see people list a book. Like if you guys have books in your house, that is amazing uh, to just go list a bunch of books on Amazon. We'll see people do this and get their first sale. And it's just like they light out like, wow, I just like made like free money. It feels like by listing something that was just sitting around my house collecting dust. And uh, so that's kind of tier two. Um, and then tier three on Amazon is really where you can start seeing some really big returns with a little bit less of time investment, but a little bit more money investment. And that is um, wholesaling and private labeling. And so wholesaling is where you sell other people's products on Amazon and private labeling is when you sell your own products on Amazon. And uh, those two tiers are really where we focus on teaching people uh, how to get results in um, because it's where you see those big results. You see like, you know, um, I had a student just text me the other day who's gone through our, our program. We teach people how to do this. She's like, and this was, this is like during, you know, all this uh, COVID-19 stuff. She's like, I just hit my, my highest day ever, $900 today. So wow. she's making $500 plus on average per day on her Amazon store. Um, wow. And she's just, uh, she's selling like a, a crafting product. It's super simple. And uh, she actually didn't even have this idea going into Amazon. She saw the data on X-Ray, uh, that tool I told you guys about. She saw people were searching for the specific type of craft. And then she uh, found a manufacturer overseas uh, had that thing manufactured, sent 500 units off to Amazon, and that thing is selling like hotcakes right now. It's pretty amazing, the power of Amazon. Wow. Um, so if you guys are interested in learning more about um, that, the, the tier three wholesaling, private labeling, we do have a seven-day challenge. Is it okay if I tell them about our, our Rainmaker challenge? Yeah, absolutely. Go for it. Cool. Yeah. So we have a thing called the Rainmaker challenge, and it's a seven-day kind of intensive experience that teaches you how to do this. Um, our next one we're planning is actually June, but if we get enough interest, we may bump it up because I know a lot of people have time right now to invest in something. And so this seven days, uh, we have a $4,000 Amazon coaching consulting experience that goes like a year long. We take like the gold nuggets from that and compress it into seven days. Mm -hmm. um, and it's only $27. So um, we, had, uh, we had a lot of people go through the challenge the last challenge we did in February. And now we're having a bunch of people launching products actually who just mm -hmm. went through the challenge. So if you're interested in Amazon, you want to see how to use that software I talked about, Helium 10, how to uh, make educated product decisions on Amazon. Whether you're a product shop owner and you have a lot of products, you'll be able to figure out which ones are the best fit for Amazon. Or if you don't have any products, you'll be able to figure out how to find products to sell that um, you can create yourself. So um, yeah, we, we really cover it all in there. We talk about manufacturing uh, overseas and connecting with a sourcing agent. Uh, we really don't leave any rocks unturned in that challenge. So if this is piquing your interest, definitely join that because I can only like tell you so much in this video. Um, but again, there is a lot of awesome resources online. So in the meantime, before like while you're waiting for the challenge, go on YouTube, go you know, Helium 10, actually, that software, they have a course that's paired with their tool. You can watch the learning videos there and uh, just explore this. Because I, when I got into Amazon, I was very skeptical at first. And my wife, Chelsea, was even more skeptical. And when I came to her going, hey, I want to spend, you know, $5,000 and invest in this toy. Like we launched this wooden toy, you know, on Amazon. And she's like, what, you know, but when I started showing her the numbers and started like, you know, showing her the data, I was like, you know what, let's take a risk on this thing. And I'm so glad we did um, because that business has really created an amazing additional stream of income for us where we're not tied to dollars for hours anymore. Um, you know, we used to work a lot of weddings, you know, we, we, we did like 43 weddings one year. And it was just like way too many weddings. Um, we were just really hustling and made great income. But it was like, if we're going to start a family, if we're going to, you know, have a life, we can't be doing this the rest of our lives. Right. And Amazon was really that thing that uh, helped us see, wow, you can make money online while you sleep. It takes a lot of work to get set up. It's not a get rich quick thing. It's not an overnight thing. But if you guys start now uh, in two, three months, you could have a product launched on Amazon. If you are brand new to this, if you already have products, you could be even be doing this even faster. 
and yeah. seeing some of that passive income roll in as Amazon ships and packs stuff for you. Uh, you get just get to check your app every day and see uh, that money is coming in. So um, yeah, if this is like stirring anything in you, definitely dig into this a little bit. It's called Amazon FBA is specifically what we teach about. Um, the rainmakerchallenge.com is our challenge. And if you have any questions, you could find me. Um, I'll give I'll give Megan my contact info so you guys can reach out. Amazing. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to share with us about Amazon. I know when I first got on Rainmakers, I've been through your challenge and I I'm just like sitting here watching it like this is crazy. Like it's, <laughs> it's nuts the kind of money that people are making on Amazon. Um, regular everyday people and not just big manufacturers. Um, so thanks for giving us a little taste and for giving the Cas Cascade Shasta County uh, the Amazon bug. And yeah, thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, and just be encouraged, you guys. Um, I know it, things are crazy right now, but there is, I think there's more opportunity than ever uh, to really um, step into something new, you know, and whether it's Amazon or another pivot in your business, um, there's a lot of opportunity and dollars follow value, you know? So when you are able to serve people, whether that's, you know, offering your product online for the first time, um, there will be, um, there will be hope there. There's a coffee shop here in town. Maybe that people doing this locally for you, but we're down in Chico and there's a coffee, sh coffee shop here in town where, if you order, uh, you just go on their Instagram and tell them your order and they'll come drop it off at your doorstep. And it's just like, they're, they're doing tons of sales right now because they're, they found a way to pivot and serve people in this time. So, uh, lean into anything like that. You guys, that is allowing you to take what you're already doing and serve people at a higher level, whether that's offering it online to more people, um, or, or some other creative solution. So be encouraged. Um, we're all in this together and it's going to be, it's all going to be good. For more information or to apply to work with one of our advisors at no cost to you, visit us online at sbdcsc.org.